Hi guys, it's Moz here from Moz651 on Models and on the workbench today I have an unboxing and a review of this Bolton Poor Defiant Mark 1 which I got in a mystery box from Airfix and I'm giving it away. So guys, here you go. Yeah, we've got the Bolton Poor Defiant here, which I got with my mystery box from Airfix, and uh, we're going to give it away. But first off, we're just going to talk about a little bit of history of the plane. Now, Airfix originally released a version of this tool back in 1960, and then they had that kit right the way up until 2008, with different uh, decal schemes, different uh, box art. And then in 2014, they released this one and they haven't changed it at all. According to Scalemates, all they've done is in 2015, they released a version that came with paint. So it was like a, a model set. But yeah, this was a new tool in 2014 and they haven't done nothing different. There's been no different schemes. There hasn't been any, um, update on the box art is basically the same as what it was in 2014 saying that though what i've seen um model minutes did a did a build on this and uh if you like I'll, I'll i'll put a link here so if you want to watch that video of it being built you can watch it up there and uh he's done a very good job on it i must say i think it, you know, he went through the dark scheme on this one i think it was quite a dark scheme but yeah so model minutes have built this one so if you want to have a look at it jump over to his channel um sharing the wealth obviously <laughs> and um yeah so basically we're going to give this away and i'm going to tell you how to win this kit at the end of the video right box art fantastic i'm presuming it's done by that mr tooby because uh, normally if it was, it's, it's too late in the day for Mr. Roy Cross, I think, at 2014. I think he'd long retired by then. So, yeah, so the box art's really nice. Side of the box with some warnings there. There's the code for it. Sorry, I'll, I'll do the code for it in a minute. Sorry, I'll do the code in a minute. But there's cartograph, which so you've got to have some really good decals in it. On the side, you've got the code there, which is A02069, 1 to 72 scale, bolt and pull defiant, mark 1. Other side is exactly the same, so both on the same side. And here it's saying that it is a uh, skill level one and one flying hour, one FX flying hour. You get 70 pieces in this kit, and it's 150 millimeters by 166 millimeters. All right, so top opening box, we have a little look inside. And uh, we'll flip that over. Pull these out and inside you get a bag of sprues, a bag of sprues, a decal sheet which is very nice. I think they're very nice actually. Can you see that? I don't think they're that thick are they? All right there you go. Some nice decals there. Looks like you get an extra call out here for positioning the stencil data. So where you want to put all the uh, all the common stencils. Sorry, that's all the common ones. It hasn't got all the decals on that one. Then in instructions, we open it up. And it's more of a little booklet. This one, I don't think it's a three. I don't think it's a three. Yeah, it's a booklet. It's not. It's not as a, a three-page spread, which is good. So, as before with most airfits kits, you start with the cockpit, pilot seat, bulkhead. All it goes in together nicely. Fits down through. Remember, you've got two seats in this one. Is it, is it only one pilot? Then they only give you one pilot. Let's have a look through, shall we? Moving on through, putting in the gear bays there, wings back on top. A and B, 56, 53. I wonder, uh, I'm trying to work out what that is. Mm. Well, if you're doing A, scheme A, 
it's 56. If he's doing scheme B, it's 33. Ah, I get it now. Okay, we're in take there underneath, putting in the stabilizers and the rudder at the back. Now, this is for gear doors. These are for gear doors up with yeah, the gear doors there. That's gear doors, that's gearing up, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so if you want the gear doors, if you want the gears up, there's the doors for it. Can't get it right. And then you get your A frames in there ready for the wheels. This is a little bit complicated. Just having a look. Yeah, not looking too bad. There's some struts there to go in. There's the wheels. Putting them through. There's uh, some doors there. Moving through. Then you start doing the turret at the back. So, pilot in, pilot out. So you can either see the see the pilot. So it's like you get two. Well, you get a pilot and a, and a gunner in this one. I should say, pilot and a gunner. Moving through. You've got the propeller there. Looks like. Um, yeah, no glue in of that, so it just basically it should just spin at the end of it. Then you have a choice of exhaust, it looks like. Choice of exhaust. So much different there. You've got a choice of exhaust. There's quite a few quite a few different options here. Whichever one you do. And then finally put the canopy on the top there. Brilliant. So it looks like you've got two call outs here. You've got this one, which is the number 264 Squadron from Suffolk in England. And uh, so you've got some colours there, 24, 29, 30. Yeah, matte yellow, matte dark earth, 30 mark, matte, matte dark green, 33 matte black, 34 matte white, 53 gunmetal, and 90 matte beige green. A prox guy, it says there. And then you call outs for them. And then on the back, which is the one I think uh, Model Minutes did, um, he did this one here, number 151 Squadron Royal Air Force Witt Wittering. Cambridge, uh, February 1941, and it's got the shark teeth there. Brilliant. Very, very good. So, inside the bag, if you've got different schemes and options, you're going to get a few sprues. Oh, there's only two sprues. Look at that. No, three sprues. So, you get three sprues in the bag, plus your plastic. So, a little look at that. It's quite, uh, quite bare, really, for the fuselage on that one. There's a little bit of detail there on there. There you go, there's your pilot and your gunner. Um, but what I understand is, is that he's got his hands down. Surely he should have his hands up when he's uh, firing a gun. There's your parts there for the undercarriage. Uh, your prop there. There's your doors for your undercarriage as well. There's your exhaust there. So you've got 13. So there must be another set of exhaust somewhere. Oh, there you go. There's the other set of exhaust. You've got two sets of exhaust there that you can have a look at and play with. Looking at, do not look too much difference in them. Um, but yeah, so there you go. There's some exhaust bits there. Uh, seat there for, I think that's for the gunner. Yeah, some wheels, basic wheels. Nothing special about the wheels, which is a shame. Could have a little bit of tread on them. But yeah, not too bad. There's the, the, the underwing there. Pretty nice. There's your air intakes there. Pretty nice bit of kit there. And uh, your rear wheel there. Nice. Quite nice. That one there. And then finally this one here, which you have your uh, your rudder on the back there. There's your bulkhead, I think. And I'm trying to think what this piece, what's this piece called again? Put in the comments below what this is called. It goes in behind the turret. I can't think what it's called now. Um, oh, yeah. Right, um, there's your stabilizers there, and we're pretty much done with this that one there. Moving on the sprue, and you go. There's uh, the canopy there, and the turret glass. Very nice, quite square, isn't it? It's quite a square-looking thing. Yeah, not looking too bad, that. I think you can you, you can make a decent looking model out of that, definitely. There, yeah, brilliant. So, now we get to the nitty gritty. How to win this kit. This is going to be nice and easy. Now, I have an Instagram account, which is moz6510models. What I would like you to do for me is to uh, follow me on Instagram, put up a picture of 
your latest model that you've either built or you've bought or there's one that you're going to be building over Christmas, you know, something like that. And then um, mention me in your comment so then I can go look through. And then if you could hashtag it, Moz Defiant, all right, M-O-S-D-E-F-I-A-N-T, okay? I will then be able to find them and I will pick pick up on whoever does this and I'll choose a winner and uh, you'll receive one of these kits and a Moz model sticker and a Moz models patch. I've got some more of these coming and uh you know where you know the, this is a free giveaway all right i'm really happy with it and uh and if you would like to win it like i said just do that i'm on instagram the pri the the competition will close in the date mentioned in the uh, video description so if you come after that date then i'm sorry you know the competition is closed and it doesn't matter <laughs> there's no point putting a picture on instagram but you can still follow me on instagram if you so wish anyways that's me done for this video if you like the video click like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe ring that bell select all and you'll be notified when i release a video also subscribing to the channel is absolutely free any questions any comments put them in the box below and i do reply and i'll see you in the next video cheers